Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Let's Learn with AR. Since it's morning here, if you're watching this video at morning time, so good morning to you as well, otherwise good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Today's topic is related to linguistics. The basic video of linguistics, what does linguistics mean, levels of linguistics and branches of linguistics. So let's get started. Linguistics, the word Linguistic means like it's related to language. Linguistics is the scientific study of any language that can be Chinese, English, French, Spanish, Urdu, Hindi, whatever language we have that comes in the category of linguistics. It means when we talk about, we discuss about, we study about that language in a scientific way that comes in the category of linguistics and its structure. Every language has its own structure. If you talk about English language, what is the structure of English language? Subject plus verb plus object. So every language has its own structure. Either that is Chinese, Urdu, Hindi, Spanish, English, French. These all languages have their own structure. Including the sounds or its sounds. Every language has its own sounds. Okay. The same words grammar every language has its own grammar meaning it involves analyzing how languages are structured and in linguistic we also discuss this that how language or languages are structured and how they function means how any language functions and how they are acquired and used for example how language how english language is used how like uh, english language is acquired how English language functions, how the language of English or English language is structured. As I said, okay, the structure of English language is subject plus verb plus object. Now, levels of linguistics. There are five levels of linguistics. The first one is phonetics. Phonetics or phonology. This branch deals with the sounds of speech so it means whenever the word phonetics is used we talk about sounds of speech for example analyzing the different ways the sound s is produced in words like c c and c's yes sauce and another type that is another level that is morphology morphology studies the structure of words and how they are formed means how any word is formed how any word is structured for instance, looking at how unhappiness is made of prefixes, a root and a suffix. Now, in this unhappiness word, the un is what? Un is prefix. And happiness is what? Root word. Or happy is what? A root word. And this ne double is what? Suffix. For example, desperately. Desperate is what? It is a root word. And ly is what? That is a suffix. So in morphology, that how words are structured and how they are formed. Undoubtful, un is what? Un is prefix, doubt is root, and full is what? Suffix. So there are many words and you will deal with these all subjects, with these all levels of linguistics in our head semesters. Syntax. The third level is syntax. Whenever the word syntax is used, so it means we are talking about sentence structure. Syntax examines the arrangement of words in sentences and their grammatical structure. It means in syntax we discuss about structure, how like grammatical structure, how words are arranged in a sentence. For example, an example would be analyzing the sentence the cat chased the dog in terms of subject, verb and object. Now cat is what? Cat is obviously it's a subject. And chase is what or chase is what it's a verb and dog is a dog is an object so it means whenever we talk about syntax so it, like we are talking about structure structure of any language here we are talking about English language structure the fourth one is that is semantics whenever the word semantics is used so it means we are talking about meaning semantics focuses on the meaning of words like that can be any word that like phrases and sentences 
For example, understanding the different meanings of the word bank. Whenever any person use word bank, there may be it might it might have two meanings. The first one it it may be concerned with river bank, or its meaning can be river bank, or the second one that can be a financial institution. Pragmatics. Pragmatics is studies how language is used in context to convey meaning. A classic example is understanding that can you please or can you pass the salt is not just a question. There is question mark like at the last we have a question mark but it's not just a question. It's about ability but also a polite request from you that someone asks you could you please or can you pass the salt. Now we have branches. What are the branches of linguistics? The first branch that is psycholinguistics. Psycholinguistics examines how languages proceed in the brain and how it relates to cognitive process. So in the psycholinguistics, we talk about the same language, but how languages proceed towards brain. And the second that is social linguistics. Whenever the word social is used, it means we are talking about society. Now, it investigates how language varies and changes based on social factors such as region, social class and gender. For example, in a society, how language is used by male and female. What kind of words are used by male and what kind of words are used by female. The same social class, how language is used by upper class, how language is used by middle class, how language is used by lower class. The same region, there may be different regions, uh, their accents may be different, their dialects may be different. So these all things are discussed in social linguistics. And you all students will go through these all uh, branches one by one in our head semesters. Historical linguistics. In historical linguistics, studies how language change over or changes over time and traces their historical development. Its best example is like Old English, Middle English and Modern English. There are many words that got changed in these uh, category, means in uh, branches of linguistics, in historical linguistics. The fourth one is that is computational linguistics. It involves it uh, in uh, in computational linguistics. We discuss about that how computers uh, analyze and process language often for tasks like machine translation or speech recognition. The fifth one that is applied linguistics. Applied linguistics theories to practical areas like language teaching, language acquisition, and language planning. Means if there is any theory of language, so how can we apply that theory in an, in any society? or in any uh, means anywhere the theory is already made so here you can guess by the word applied means how to apply that theory or how to apply that method i will put two examples like uh, for teaching english language or for english teaching what you do you first go through different methods of teaching like uh, grammar translation method direct method communicative method, natural approach. So these all are different approaches or different methods to teach English language, to teach any language. If I am teaching to a KG class or PREF class or nursery class, so what kind of method I will have to use? I will obviously use grammar translation method. For example, if I say he is a boy or she is a girl, my I will also translate these words towards those children why because they are small i have to tell them that the meaning of these words or the meaning of this sentence is this so it comes in the category of applied linguistics it means how you use methods and how you use them or to translate those words those sentences to make them understand the same if you are seventh or eighth semester student what kind of a method I will have to use? I will obviously use with, uh, I, will also, I, I will use direct method with you. Why? Because direct method means I will not translate the things. I will just talk with you in English language and you have to respond to me in English. 
the last one that is neuro linguistics neuro linguistics is uh, related to like the explores the relationship between language and brain studying language processing and production in it in individuals with brain injuries or disorders means whenever you get the injury of brain or disorder so how you use that language how you use after injury how you use any language so this was all about today's i hope this video has been helpful for you i tried my best if you have any question regarding this topic you can freely ask in comment section if this video has sparked your interest i request you suggest you to like share comment and do subscribe to the channel see you in the next video take care of yourself allah hafiz